Hello, this is Catherine and Tanya, and we're the Twin Flame Mystique 1111. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're going to do a short Twin Flame Energy Update video. Yeah, and we're trying this from the laptop, so we're yeah. going we're gonna to see how this works out for us. Yeah. See, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so yes. Spirit's like, yeah. This, you know, our sigh is about these recent um, problematic energies yes that's what we're gonna call them all sorts of technical oh, difficulties Christ, cell phone man. websites uh, laptops all right so we'll see what the overall energy is for the feminine and the masculine and for the masculine so the overall energy for the feminine is the nine of winter, which is the nine of swords, mm -hmm. and the six of summer, which is the six of cups. Yes. So what's what that's saying is there's just so much unfounded fear and worry. Um, it's out of proportion from what the the problem actually was. Right. So, and it's something that has happened in the past that you're worried about. Mm. Okay. Worry only brings forward that more worry. worry. So, be mindful. Quit worrying about your twin. Right. Everything's, everything's fine and the right. fine timing. You should be worrying about you and, and doing the work on you. The masculine, Prince of Summer, which is like the Prince of Cups, um... And the two of winter, indecision is holding you back. Oh. Because, yeah, because the masculine can't really come forward to the feminine. Right. You know, until, <clears throat> here we go. Yeah. Because this is a block, this indecision. Um, likely about a karmic. Right, or leaving a karmic. So, and we also have the number 12, Awakening. Mm -hmm. That's the hangman in the regular tarot. So, he's going through, you know, been going through the dark night of the soul and starting on his awakening journey. Trying to get the bl that balance uh, within himself. Um, if you look at the, the illustration, I love to have um, to look for the uh, other messages in the illustration up at the top right here at his foot. He has that yin and yang, right? That is having that balance bet within yourself. The balance between the masculine and the feminine from within. So, yeah. We and that's the unity that needs to happen before you have any mm -hmm. physical unity with, with your twin. And so, and this has been going on for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the karmic endings. Mm. Um, Another 12. Look at that. At the yeah. very top. And this, to do with this card is... It says on here, it has on here chapter one and also the end. It's a conclusion to a karmic cycle. Hopefully you can see it. It's kind of a glare. Right there, yes. Um, and that's what the masculine has been going through. Yes. For a little bit. Mm-hmm. So let me get... Yeah, and, and as you do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up the meaning of the number 12. Let's see, and it's a 12-12. You know, I've, I always gotten that number yeah a lot it was it was the 12 12 yeah okay so and for the masculine the devil is in the details yes there is something that the, there the masculine needs to see clarity on mm-hmm so um, in regards to this there's a a few cards that are, you know, 12 is the number, you know, for the divine uh, masculine um, in this uh, reading awareness. And uh, it's saying that, here, let me look that up. Yeah, and it's having to do with unity. Um, so God is trying to send you a message about your faith in relationships. Um, 
and to take a moment and think about the relationship that you have with your family, your spouse, or your friends. Um, have things been more difficult than normal? This is why that number is coming out for you. So um, you're about to receive an abundance in your lot in your love life, and love may be coming to you in many forms. Um, but there is love that you are needing to see within yourself. You're needing to see it and feel it and own it within yourself because um, that's what you have coming to you. So you've got to be able to experience it and, and to be able to recognize it whenever it is in front of you. And that's why the details card has come out. Uh-huh. Because... It, you know, like I said, the devil is in the details, and <coughs> let's see if you can see it right there. We're playing around with this camera. All right. And then with that, we also got the number 52. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry. That's yeah. a new addition to her family. Baby puppy problem. <laughs> Princess Damn. Peanut. She is magical. tiny. Oh, she yeah. Magical shape shifter. Okay. Magical map shifter excuse me um and this says that uh, this card arrives it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth and that's what this one was saying this one um the one that uh, well the number that i was looking up the 1212 because it's a repetitive number for you right now and that's exactly what that message was about uh taking a look at the relationships that you have going on right now in your life so, um, and then it says that perhaps you may meet a soulmate, um, or your wow, feminine. that's right, or your feminine, uh, who invites you to be the <coughs> best you that you can be, or someone who leads you out of the difficulty and into a place of safety or success. And look, that is what the divine feminine does for the divine masculine and vice versa mm. and and this is a way to find out also if you are in a karmic relationship or experiencing a divine um, relationship is that with a karmic the karmic is running so when the going gets tough and you're in and you're needing to do work and within yourself or there's issues they get running and then you're in a runner chaser right um, but with a twin flame relationship, the divine feminine and masculine, they uh, help balance each other out. They do help with you, uh, making you um, want to be that better person so then you're going to do that inner work. Um, we are always, um, uh, you know, pushing each other to be our best and that's what a twin flame does. So, and, you know, like before, before you actually come into alignment with each other, yes, uh, before a union would be sustainable, yes, there's going to be that push pull, but it's different from what I think most people think of as the runner, runner chaser. The runner right. chaser is more uh, karmic soulmate, narcissist type behavior, and the twin from everything from what we experienced yes. and the experience of our clients you know yeah there's there's separation there's push pull but your twin is never really out out of your life mm -mm. Mm -mm. you know yeah so that's just from our experience right you know and the experience of the you know the clients that we've had so far all right so for the feminine we have one one little last message here mm -hmm. and these are journey of love by alana fairchild oh i love these cards sally and richard Kahn. i think that's how you say the name okay so it's number 63 oh that's beautiful the light field and the basically field. um this is telling you feminine that your psychic abilities are really starting to open up more so than than ever before the lion's gate is really good about bringing in unions when it's time and you're strengthening your abilities yes. when it's time and yes. for the collective that we're reading for this is where you're at for the feminine 
you can communicate with your twin flame in the astral or through telepathy yes. or through uh, your feelings or emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, Are you yelling at the puppy? Yes, I am. <laughs> and so this is the time for that. This is the time to send, uh, you know, telepathically, energetically, yes. you know, messages to your twin. Mm-hmm. And just know that they will get there. Um, your psychic abilities opening. <coughs> see. This oracle brings you guidance that you are connecting with a field of awareness that is real. And that you are protected by light as you do so. Yeah. It is confirming that there is nothing for you to fear. And that those who have passed on or will pass on in the future will always be safely held in love is also confirmation that there are very real bonds that connect you to your loved ones past yes. present and future that are beyond the kind confines of time and space yes. so this is really important for your twin flame connection is to work on that um your telepathy yes and your connection exactly and just know that what you do your twin's gonna feel it yeah your twin will always feel it even if they're not awakened or if they don't know exactly where it's coming from, they're still going to feel it. So any work you do for yourself, you do right. for your twin. Right for your twin. So right now, that is just very much heightened um, is. as far as your telepathic abilities. Yes. And your twin is waking up. The masculine's waking up, too. And that's not an easy or nice process, either. Mm -hmm. You know, like ending karmic that's cycles. Right. And moving forward, there's just a lot of confusion. There's a lot of fear. Um, and all of that is of the 3D. Mm -hmm. So if you are experiencing these things, then there are 3D cords that, of, uh, you know, that you are connected and you are needing to dissolve. You're needing to, to cut and part ways with. And you can do that by doing your inner healing, by uh, doing your, your work. Oh. So the last card... 33. Open, open your presence. So, Excellent. like we've been saying this for, I know, a good week, and it, it's still going to be the message. It is probably for quite some time. Is that you know you you have you have gifts from the divine, and for a lot of people, it is going to be your twin flame union in the physical. Yes, it is. So that is very good news. All right. If you would like a private reading, you can reach out to us at twinflamemystique eleven eleven dot com. Yes. We also have a Facebook group of the same name. Yes. Twin Flame Mystique 1111. And then, of course, our YouTube channel, which hopefully you will subscribe and, and like our videos. Um, we're trying to do at least every other day for the Twin Flame updates, just depending on how many other readings we have and other things that we need to do. We're trying to keep on top of it and yes. do a video at least every other day. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, spending some time with us. And uh, I hope that you are resonating. And if you do, please um, let us know below. May, uh, give us a comment. Um, all right. Well, have a blessed evening or day wherever you are at. Thank you. Thank you.